All right, time for a short video today, the subject of which is the famous or perhaps infamous GP5 gas mask, or more correctly, the filters it uses. We've got a black GP5 here. I'm sure most people have seen those before. And this green can here is one of the standard Soviet filter cans that come issued with them. Now many people are aware that these cans most likely and indeed even probably have asbestos in them, which is of course something if you inhale enough of over a long enough period of time, you could eventually develop some nasty lung cancer from it. I think the internet has probably overstated the dangers of these quite a bit, especially when they're in good condition, but all the same, the main point of this video today was to show you one of the alternatives. You see, we also have a standard NATO filter here. It's 40 millimeters in diameter, and this particular one was made by an Italian company called Mestel Safety. Now, the Soviet threads are also 40 millimeters, but the threading in the mask is not the same. So, you can see that eventually I can get it get it in here and seated and the Soviet canister slots right in. Now we'll unscrew that and switch it for the NATO one and while it's 40 millimeters you'll see with that different threading it just stops there. You can't turn it in and you can't get a good seal on the canister. So what to do about it then? If you still want to use your GP5, or at least put a safer filter on it anyway while you are using it, you can get one of these filter adapters here. This is designed so that it screws into the Soviet threading, and then on the other side here, it's available where you can screw a standard NATO filter into it. This particular one was 3D printed, and you can probably either buy one off of the usual places like eBay, or 3D print it yourself. I'm not sure if the plans are out there, but I wouldn't surprise me if they are on some corner of the internet. So first, let's screw our NATO filter in. And there is a rubber gasket on the inside of this end also. So we get it correct. And we see that the standard 40 millimeter filter screws right into this end. And we take that end and get it seated correctly. There we go. And you can hand tighten them. And there you go. There's a GP5 with a modern standard NATO filter in it that should be much safer. So now that we've managed that, let's get the mask on and give it a whirl. All right, so here we are fully suited up with the GP5 and the filter adapter in place so that I'm using a standard filter. And I have a good seal. That said, I still wouldn't trust the GP5 unless it was the only option. If you're doing any survival or prepping, I suggest you get a decent mask and not rely on one of these with either the Soviet or the NATO filters. But just for playing around like this, it does work. <laughs> 